So six months ago, tomorrow, March 17th, I checked myself into a psych ward in a hospital in New Jersey. I had been contemplating suicide for a few years. I was severely depressed due to the stressors of the relationship that I was in. On September 15th, my boyfriend of 13 years told me, I spoke to my lawyer, there's no common law in Pennsylvania. You're not good enough for me. You're not my equal, will never work. And my favorite was, you're a financial burden. I was 100% dependent on him. He had been mistreating me for quite some time. And I just continued to try and try and try to do everything I could to make things better and not setting boundaries or telling him I, what the way he was treating me was unacceptable. I just figured if I was better, if I was kinder, if I never said no, if I compromised my values and my dignity to satisfy his needs, I just felt like he would see how much I loved him and he would want to be with me. And he broke up with me and destroyed my heart. Crushed me. But six months later, I fought to get enough for a down payment on a house, which I am sitting in right now. Thank you, Jesus. I have an amazing job with benefits and the future is definitely looking brighter. It's still heartbreaking to me. I don't know how long I will still have a trace of love in my heart for this man. Um, I truly believe since the day we were together that he was sent to me from God and I was meant to die with him, which I told him many, many times. But relationships need to be two-way streets. And this one was far from being a two-way street, probably for the majority of it. So here I sit in my house that I've worked for going to a job that I love that is hard and demanding and not just physical, but mentally demanding, but I love it. And I am challenging myself every day and I'm helping so many people every day and um, doing my best to create the life that I have dreamed, create the life that I want without anyone's support, without anybody's help, except for God and Jesus, of course. Um, and my friends are supporting me and helping me, but as far as making ends meet and taking care of myself and all that stuff, it's me. And like I said, it's not easy, but I'm doing it. And for all of you women out there who are in relationships with toxic narcissists, I know we're all on the narcissism spectrum, but for those of you who are in relationships with to toxic narcissists, I'm here to tell you that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Don't let it get to the point where you feel like less than zero and like you have scratched rock bottom and it's better to take your life than to stand up for yourself and say, no, your treatment is unacceptable. This is not okay. Um, so six months, I've made a lot of progress. I've done a lot of healing. I still have a lot to go, but it's possible and you're not alone. And I know it feels very, very lonely and you feel very, very much alone, but I promise you, you are not alone and you can do this. And the best advice I can give to anyone going through a situation like this is to lean into God. God will get you through. God got me through and God continues to get me through every single flipping day. And if you need help, you need someone to pray with you, you need someone to talk to, shoot me a message, reach out to me. I'll be happy to share the tools and the tricks and the things that I did to help me get through this and I'm still processing and working on getting over it. I'm sure it's gonna be maybe forever till I get over this. 
But at the end of the day, it's his loss. And I'm grateful that he was able to show me that I was able to love someone the way that I loved him. I'm grateful to know that I have the capacity to love like that. I don't think I'll ever put myself out there again and I'll ever want to love anybody like that again, but I'm grateful for the experience and I'll give all that love to God and I'll be okay with it.